We're just gonna butterfly badge. I'm so happy to see you. I wonder if the fairy godmother would be in this. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Okay, I can level up using through Sophia using the Ergo in your possession. Okay. Well, we've already been doing that. Uh, let's get at least everything. You know, actually, no, maybe. Let's try to just balance everything out for now. He's in shock. Jenny is fine. Jiminy Cricket. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Oh, pocket watch. Power? Uh -huh. I'll use my power to help you. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more ergo. It will make you stronger. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so what, what is this? Uh, Mine's lamp, last resort. Moon phase pocket watch, teleport to the last hotel. Okay, that's really cool. Who are you? Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Crot. Oh. Uh, what have you got? Charges Fable. Legion Charge, Sort of Will. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. Well, they've failed the second law big time. Humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Christ. Failed that one as well. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. And we're failing I've that told one. told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Alright. Well, something went wrong. Well, who the hell are you? Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. What are you looking at? I am Antonio. And this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the Georgia Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. 
It's a shame. He took off for Elysium Boulevard. And he never came back. If it doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Doc? Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. <gasps> awesome! People have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. A nice lady. Um, alright, let's put some clothes on. No hat. Okay, we've got our um, schoolboy outfit on. What else is around here? This month's attraction at the Hotel Krat. It's one of the city's creepiest, most mysterious buildings. According to law, Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point it was used as a mental institution. Some patients saw that, said they saw hallucinations. What? Some even said it's connected to an unknown hell. But now the rumours are served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has come being renovated in the later style. As the recent rumours of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Okay. I wonder if there is actually a ghost here. Where else do I want to go now? This area is huge. I don't know where I want to go next. Oh. Do you want to upgrade my weapon? I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. <gasps> you should take Woody this. Pecker. Geppetto left it with me. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, now we are secure. Ah, cool. <sighs> the sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. So it's like the, the left-handed strike, is that the strongest attack that I have, but it ends up like it breaks after a I while? Way around a weapon. Oh, I can alter handles. Uh, oh, what the hell? Yeah, my legion arm. What is all this shit? Oh. Alright, what have we got? Oh, we can upgrade this. 
Is it worth upgrading? How many weapons in this game, Paul? Is it worth upgrading weapons this early? Ugh. So it is worth upgrading. Okay. Alright. Plus one it is. A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. I think our aim here is to get like a weapon where we get like 90% guard and then just block everything and regain the damage back. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. I love this woodpecker. Oh my god, Brownie's favourite game. Uh oh. Yeah, that cat did not like me. Puppet string, okay. That was dodge after hit. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've been trying to perfect parry shit. I've been taking so much damage. So I can switch my arm there at least. Ow. Actually, let's test that puppet string. What did that do? It's not doing anything. Ah, oh, it's a pull. I was just hoping that like it would drag it forward a little bit. Okay, so that's the garden. Alright. Where to next? This area is huge actually. I'm actually surprised. Can I? Not bad. I think that's. I think we've exhausted the hotel. Actually, um, I guess we can go upstairs now. Is that area blocked? Yep. What else is here? I guess we'll unlock some of these as we go through. I guess there's more NPCs that are going to come through. So have you um, started Lords of the Fallen yet, Paul? We were just talking before, we are saying it's a little bit unpolished at the moment, but yeah, they need like a patch or two. Oh, nice! My thanks!
I was shocked that it wasn't on Game Pass. I was kind of hoping I could just play that as well, but yeah. I guess I can't just rely on every game to be like free on Game Pass for me. That would be pretty funny. But is there, I wonder if there's going to be a hope of World of Warcraft. Now that Microsoft's bought Blizzard, I wonder if we'd be able to get like Game Pass with that act in it. Ah, no pro yeah, do that, that'd be funny. Oh, they ruined the Xbox version. Hey, let's be more careful. Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later when we're safe. Uh, let's avoid that. Some dead bodies everywhere. Holy shit! Yeah, we don't need to use that just yet. Do I get all my health back from that? Oh, I'll lose that a little bit. Ugh. These guys, I'll, I'll probably just give some kill. There we are. Let's go downstairs. Really? Throwing cell. Oh, can I switch weapon? That's weird. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> no place better. But that was long ago. Before the puppet frenzy. Okay, from the other side. Another robot. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, my bad. Ugh. I sure like this ability. Does it look like it recharges, though? Oh, man. I really do not like blocking. I think there he is. Ah, shit. I think my weapon hit the truck and it just stopped it in its tracks. There we are, that's better.
There we go. Ooh, what did we get? Lot can be equipped in the Ah, okay. So what? Ladder frame. So, whoa, this is really good. Although, to be fair, our aim is not to get hit at all. We came from that way. I'm gonna go vertical. Oh, you. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, no. Crap. Where did that put me? <sighs> Whoops. Okay, back we go. Okay, so we're out of our puppet string. around yep emergency protection is that I probably should be equipping some of these uh, what can I equip it to I only got three? Oh, whatever. Chances are, I should, I should use these weapons just because I'm probably never going to use them anyway. Sawtooth wheel. Uh, it's a very small shortcut, but okay. Okay. Ah, oh, whoops. Damn it. Oh, I just cannot get these parries down. Did you get a lot of... I'm guessing you can get a lot of the throwables then. Because I'm not the same. I just don't use the stuff. Because you're like, well, if I run out, then I, you can't rely on them because you're worried about running out. But then you end up with like a hundred of them. And it's like, well, I guess I could have used them. Oh. Oh, that sack of shit.
Oh my god. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah. There's been, oh yeah, some really good quality of life mechanics in that. Like having your... Having your, like, souls spawn outside of boss arenas. Oh no, actually, that's a decent shortcut. Um, being able to, like, regain stuff off, um, hits, like Bloodborne. Getting health potions back. Yo. Hey, Paul, what's up? Playing it through for the first time. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, actually. But you can tell that like, they've definitely taken a lot of the, um... They've definitely taken oh, a lot of stuff from other games and improved on it. Oh, they've taken bits from everything. So saying this like, game... Yeah, you, you've got your Sekiro, um... You've got your, um... Parry, but the... Parrying block it, like, destroying people. The, the potion refilling, like, after you've run out, because you can do... After you do more attacks. I'm like, that, that's such, like, a awesome mechanic yeah like um i think even the part that you're up to now i remember being on like no potions and getting up to this this next bit and then you eventually um just get a free potion oh, thank god i needed that so badly no oh you didn't pick up did you pick up yourself yeah i did also in this, I think if you die, you don't lose all your souls, they just get smaller and smaller. Yeah. But like, they just like small things, like it... Like, I don't think... It's one of those things where it doesn't make the game any easier, but it makes the game less frustrating. You don't get punished as hard for fucking up. Yeah, like, it's already a game that's hard enough, it just makes it a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. It was like with Blasphemous, where everyone was complaining about the spikes since killing you, and I didn't think it was an issue until I played Blasphemous 2, and they didn't. And I was like, actually, this is a lot nicer. Like, not instantly dying because of... I like Mega Man spikes. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that they took that on board for the second game. Oh, a lot of people hated it. They complained so much in the first game about dying to spikes instantly because you're like you miss a jump by like a tiny bit and it's like oh okay well I guess you're dead and it's like oh, okay well in Hollow Knight they kill you straight away don't they? Uh, no they don't they uh, put you back yeah th that's actually probably a better mechanic take a chunk of health out put you back at the start of the platform yeah but is there a way for me to get my silly string back? So my puppet um, string's at the bottom, so I'm guessing that's when I run out. So yeah, that's your legion arm, and you can use, um, I think it's called like legion calibers. It's like a consumable. Oh fuck. But to be honest, you don't use it all that much. Because I've run out a few times now. Well, you're using it more than I did. I used it like, um, more after it's upgraded, or like certain enemies that you kind of need to pull towards you. Yeah. yeah. Also, how do I deal with these flying dudes? Flying dudes? Oh, uh, the, um, the guns. Oh, they're pretty slow, you just dodge past them. Okay. Though I feel like those guys there that, that charge at you, um, they're a pain in the ass. Oh, you're right, I just ran past them. Yeah. It's like your typical... Is it Dark Souls? It's another game they shoot at you, but it's pretty slow. Like, you can almost see the ball moving in midair. Trying to think, the only other thing I would think about changing is just how lo- Ooh, how am I getting to that? I want that. Is having the item description stay up for a while, but other than that, pretty good. <gasps> Electric Blitz Abrasive. It's all these items, I don't know what any of them do. <laughs> I feel so, like a lot of them, you can kind of tell what they do just by the name. Yeah. Has your weapon degraded at all over the course of the game, or...? Yeah, I constantly sharpen it. Uh, so where do you find out I, when... You'll, you'll hear it, and then you, it'll start glow... Like, down where your camera is. Um... You, you see... Um, can you see the bar, or can you see your camera? 
Oh shit! Well, that's my bad. I probably should have taken that damage. Oh my god! What the hell? You should lift your camera up so you can see the um. My camera? Yeah, because that's where your sword degradation is underneath your camera. Oh, okay. Is that what that is? Okay, because yeah, I got three bars there. It should just be one long bar. Oh, that's weird. Oh, um, underneath it. One sec, I'll move is, the camera. Um, your, your different fable moves. Oh, that's not much better, is it? Uh, what I can do? If I deactivate, so you see that, Paul? Yeah. So what that is there? So that's your on the left hand side is your um, sword fable art, and on the right hand side is your um, handle fable art. Okay. So your handle, whatever that is, you hold L1, then press triangle, and that only takes up one bar. And then your other one takes, you need three full bars of Fable to use it. And then the grey bar above that is your weapon degradation. So if you press down on your D-pad twice, or just once actually. Press down on your D-pad. Oh, no, down again. Down. Yep, that one. Oh. So, hold square. Ah. So that sharpens it back up. Yeah. Is there a reason why I've got like the weapon arts on the on that bottom right when I've got it at the top um, left as well? Well, up the top left is showing you how much charge of Fable you've got, and then on the bottom right it just shows you how many bars you actually need. Oh, okay. So they're complete. Okay, so they'll change from weapon to weapon. Yeah. So you see how I, I don't know why I keep switching the keyboard, but um, it, it tells you how to use them too. So you you. If you go into your settings or whatever and hover over your, your weapon, it'll yeah. tell you um, what Fable Light does what. <laughs> I didn't use the saber, so I'm not sure. What did you use? Oh no. I used the rapier. Oh no, that. No way. Did you see that bullshit? Yeah, that happens a lot. Oh, well, we're slowly filling up our bar. Oh, these... When you do these areas enough times too, you just end up charging. Okay, I'm really loving my Sekiro arm. Although I don't remember Sekiro being able to drag enemies to me. Some of the other arms you can get are really good. And same thing, once you upgrade them a few times, they get really powerful. Is, um... How important is, an ex is exploring? Is there anything like really good? Is it like Bloodborne where there's always like cool shit or is it just... Oh yeah, definitely. It's, it's worth exploring every area. Like a lot of the time you'll just pick up consumables or ergo, but then other times you'll find like weapons or um, armor and or um, like important shit. Okay. Going down here, what's this area? No way, again! Hit a moonstone, nice! Oh sweet, yeah, shortcut! It's definitely, definitely worth exploring everywhere. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I think if you go back behind you, there's a window with a light on. To your left. To your left. Oh no, it's, it's near here. Oh, no, you, you'll hear him. So I've been hearing a few people um, upstairs talk. So where's the difficulty you reckon of this game? Bloodborne's difficulty or...? It's... It, it, I don't know man, I feel like the um... Yeah, I, I would say that it's Bloodborne-ish. Man, watch the Lords of the Fallen, that game looks hard as fuck. Yeah. I've heard the bosses are super easy. Oh, 
Max Bean was making them look hard. Oh, really? That was like, I read two different reviews. I read a review that was like, um, happy with the game and a review that wasn't, and they both said that the bosses were pretty easy. So here's someone coughing in here, I don't know. Oh, it, it's downstairs somewhere. It's not up here. It just, you'll come across it. It's, it's, I thought it was that area yeah. downstairs before. But like, if you see the bosses, they look insane. Like, they yeah, never stop the, attacking and... Apparently the design aesthetics and stuff is pretty sweet, but um... Oh, you only need a couple more hits before you get to <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say whether it's as hard as Bloodborne or not because it's been so long since I first played it. And like, you know, once you've played the game a fair bit, yeah. especially if you end up doing the areas quite a bit, when you play it again, you kind of breeze through it. Yeah. So I remember being pretty hard and this was the same thing. I thought it was pretty hard the first time I played it through the demo. But then when I got the full game, I breezed through the first two bosses super quickly. Yeah, that was like me with after image. Once you get the hang of, once you get the timings and the hang of everything. Well, all these little main puppets too, because they stagger on every hit. They're never really that much of a problem. Yeah, these ones are fine. Now, I forgot which way I'll go. Uh, no, you it wasn't that this one. Car. Remember you opened up that gate? Yeah, so I'm trying to think what this gate was. It was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, there it is. That's the gate there. Oh, cunt. That cheap ass death, man. I probably should have been a, I probably should have seen it. I didn't learn how to do the um the plunge attack. It's the same as in um, Elden Ring or whatever. You just. Oh, I sucked. Down. I couldn't do that there either. I sucked there. Oh, you just drop down and just keep tapping R1 and you'll do it. It doesn't. It never looks like he's about to do it, but then just before you get the guy, you'll do it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you get a bigger weapon. <laughs> Something tells me I should just use daggers. Um, that was what was good about using the rapier. It's literally just a stab attack forwards. Oh, we haven't died yet, Brownie. Oh, Brownie, I don't think the counter goes up that high. <laughs> it, it would have broken it already. Alright, one sec. What else can we throw at this fucker? I'll just run around him. Don't waste all your consumables on these little dudes. Well, this guy's just gonna throw shit at me. Yeah, just run around to the left, you'll be right. Get fucked! There you go, you can get it out. Oh, I died by these skylines. <laughs> this is coming for the guy who's playing Dice and Spear in early access so he doesn't have to deal with, uh, um enemy aliens when they're put into the game on full release. See, so when you uh, target him. Well, he, he didn't even target just keep, keep pressing R1 when you drop. There you go. Ah! Oh my god. Same, Brownie. But not to mention, we're playing this game on max difficulty mode. Aren't you playing with a strength weapon? No, this is a balanced weapon. Oh, go back, Mark. Oh, one sec. Get over here! Man, someone's gonna have to be really good to uh, make up for the fact I'm gonna lose that if I upgrade. Back. No, 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 you're right. Sorry, I thought there was a ladder, but it's inside. Yeah. Question is, do I want to take that ladder or keep going? Ladder. Didn't even get revenge on that grenade throwing guy. Oh, that's right, you already killed him with a grenade. My Louise and 
Charlotte, at my treasure. Can't hear anything. I think the street's already dead. Nothing but silence. I assume they are too will become another petrified corpse soon. Uh, I wish this nightmare was over. If you and your kids could come back... Okay. Is that a side quest or is that... Nah, it's just lore. Ah. You find lots of little notes and things. Oh, shit. Written around. Go back up the ladder. Yeah. I want pause to check. What the fuck is this shit? One sec. Yeah, let's just check. I'd like to just check areas that I think that... Uh, Get the Mega Man death sounds ready, Brownie. Oh, wait. Is there a boss up here? Nah, not upstairs. I've already stretched. That's a... Right, all the way up. Get wrecked. So unnecessary. What does your L1 triangle do? Ah, it's a damage boost. Oh, that's cool. My one was a parry, and I'm like, it was hard enough to parry as it is. Ah, uh, good morning, Slapdash. What have you been on playing the wrong game? What other game would I be playing? Not, you're not talking about Star Citizen, are you? No, he's talking about Gotham Knights. Oh, <laughs> wait. Oh, that, yeah, I remember that game existing at one point. Oh, Dark Tide. Oh. Did we ever play that? We should all play that. Yeah, we, yeah, we haven't got around to playing that, have we? That's a good point. That is a good point. How did that not... Oh, you Jesus. Can't, you can't back so quickly, please. Can't pull him either. Who are the characters in it? Because I know there's an ogre. Well, there it is. Ah! Oh. Damn it! He dropped. Oh no! Uh, uh, you're right. I need to go down there anyway, don't I? Oh, he does drop something. Um, use a potion if you're gonna drop down. Actually, before you drop down, just keep going forward. Oh, before, but there's a chest next to you. Oh, there's two. Behind you. Ogre, Zealot, Psycho, Venom, Sharpshooter. Ooh. Who would I go? Oh, a fucking finally an amulet. I watched some people play Dark Tide a while ago. It looks hard as fuck. I might. Oh, maybe the sharpshooter. I might. Either that, or if there's a sisters of battle, I'd play them. That'd probably be the Zealot, I'm guessing. Alright, so how are we getting down here? Uh, you might as well spend some levels before you go any further. Uh, just let me check. There's a there's a ladder coming up where you can get down. If you don't okay, just drop cool. Down there. Oh, hang on. If you yeah, you've right. If you spend levels, that item will go away. Oh, fucking last guns! Last guns are so bad. Oh, don't die. Go full health and then drop down. Jesus. Oh! <laughs> God, you're really risking that shit. Why can I target that? Whoa! Oh yeah, oh fair enough. I guess I'll be the sharpshooter. Oh no. Does he lock me in here? I just roll. So have you finished the game yet then? Oh, actually I do like the sound of flamers. Oh fuck, maybe I will go the zealot. Oh my god. 
You don't have to attack those things. I thought if I attacked them, they wouldn't explode. No, they're more like traps. You can shoot them with your puppet string. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that clutch potion regain. So good. Oh, Bolton, that's a much better weapon than that last gun. Plasma rifles would be pretty damn sweet. I wonder if they hurt you in that game. Alright. Zap. Zap. Come at me, dogs. Oh. Oh my god, they actually dodged my shit. You've got one puppet with it. Oh, you're not locked on. Swinging around, fucking throwing haymakers wildly. <laughs> oh, sweet, they do overheat. In, um, in the tabletop game, you, you, you rolled a... a what a dice to see if you hit or not and if you roll a one your character the gun would overheat and would instantly wound you so like you'd pay like let's say 20 po oh, 20 points oh fuck no oh my god it's alright you're pretty close there was a ladder right next to you pretty sure that leads you're not far from it Beast of Ber Nurgle. Ah. Okay, so I must have come from. Which direction did I come from? You came from behind you. Did you talk to the guy in there? No, I didn't. Okay, so I came from that direction. That's the direction that you came from here. Yeah. Oh, losing drop two percent. Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. Well, what's he got? Oh, what's this, Paul? Is this a weapon? Yeah. Uh, advanced weapon. What do you mean, advanced weapon? See where it says attack abilities? It's speed scaling on advance. I'm, I'm guessing strength is motivity, yeah? Is, I think... Oh, I might have... Yeah, I might have to look it up just to find dexterity, out. Yeah. Dexterity was technique. I think advance is, um... Like... Your legion arm and shit like that. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think I'm just balanced. I'm like 10-10 on both stats. So I haven't gone one way or the other yet. Okay, so your weapon that you're using now is a... I'm pretty sure if you go into your inventory and check out your, um, your saber, that'll be a strength, like a motivity weapon. Uh, oh no, it's C on both. That's interesting. Yeah. So is that, because I'm trying to think, so Dark Tide as well, that's, um, didn't we play a game similar to that? What was it, Vermintide? Mm. We played the original Vermintide. Zap. Zap. Oh. No way, I came from this direction. No, this is a new way. You haven't been down this way yet. Vermintide, Vermintide, dude, now Dark Tide. Ah, oh, cool. This is the first one that's in space. Urgh. Is there like a radar I can get in this game? <laughs> no, you just gotta expect that shit, man. You play Bloodborne. Yeah, I know. Time. Apparently, that's the thing when you play, um, the. Oh, who was the. The people that were reviewing that new game we were just talking about before, they're saying after playing so many of these games, you can just say, hmm, I bet anything there's going to be a guy behind those boxes up there. And yeah. then sure enough, there's a guy behind the boxes. 
Oh, be careful. Yeah, someone just threw something at me. Someone is still throwing something at me. Yeah. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, from what we liked, Vermintide okay. I heard Vermintide 2 was better, and then from what I hear, Dark Tide's like pretty good. Like, it seems like they just keep getting like better iterations of it yeah. all. Oh shit. Oh! Unbelievable. That's okay. So I think you had 4,000 souls, so how much did you lose? Does it just cut it in half? I'm not sure. What? Or... So you got 2,500 now. Oh, okay. So it's about half, is it? Uh, I think maybe it's a little bit less than half, because I feel like you only had 4,000. Man, that drags it massively. It's got pretty good range on it. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, that second one was a bit bullshit. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't run off the thing. Oh, he came close though. Oh no. Oh, he did it again! I found a box. I did it because I found this box. You need to start using your lock on more. Oh, uh, don't. Uh, ow! Oh, we got it. Oh, I think that's the window, too. Yeah, I heard someone coughing. Now the one with the light on. I wish we could play together. Ah, <coughs> uh, so easy mode is where. <laughs> Who is it? Is that you, Murphy? Oh, uh, I guess not. Oh, you're so lucky that puppet walked Sorry. away. <laughs> I thought you were my friend, Murphy. Murphy is a super cool police officer. <coughs> oh, that's As the guy that puppet, killed you. So your souls must be just around that corner. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was like him. <coughs> you should leave so you don't catch the disease from me. So, uh, so you got a group you're playing with then, Slapdash, or are you playing with randoms and just avoiding easy mode? Alright, actually... Ah, uh. don't forget to swap back over to your potion. Oh, fuck me. So that's tough. I was like in the stag room, yeah, he's it's sort of like a, not a mini boss, but he's pretty hard. Oh no way, I didn't kill him. No! Holy shit, what the fuck is up with this dude? Okay. I'm having more he's, trouble. Oh, he's sort of like a mini boss, I reckon. I don't know if, yeah. I feel like, yeah, sometimes he's attacks, he does, and then, like, what's the word for it? Sometimes he's, sta he's like, tired from them, and in others he's... Yeah, on this game has, like, um, the enemies that attack have, like, the biggest, well, not stagger, but, um, like, hesitation attacks. Like, some of them, they hesitate for so long before they actually attack you. It's actually really hard to get the timing down. I 
when I was playing Elden Ring last night, most of the attacks are pretty easy to dodge, and in this they're, I don't know, it's, they, they wind back and then hold it and hold it and hold it, or they'll attack and you think they're done, and then they'll attack again, yeah. I feel like that was something that Elden Ring introduced though. I don't remember many of the other games having like massively delayed attacks other than... I sense something... Ah. Strange. Jeepers. Get it. Is that a butterfly? A beetle. Ah, He's nice. reacting like that. If you want to check it out, I can take point. Awesome. Because, yeah, I remember, like, only besides maybe the da Dance of the Boreal Valley, he has, like, a boss have, like, massively delayed attacks. Also, I mean, what's you that? Might as well, you might as well go back and go down the ladder to pick up your souls before you continue forward. Before you go down. Don't go down there. Yeah, go back and go down the ladder to get your souls. There's a ladder. There is a ladder. Pretty much right where you died, there was a ladder there, but I was going to say, like, don't fight that guy, go up the ladder and spend your souls, but then you died. Hey, for real? Here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Motherfucker. Oh no. No, that's not it. Get your uh. souls. He does not give a fuck about Stagger. Nice. Go. Oh, thank God. You forget to use your fable up, but it's pretty powerful. Well, so what's that red, that red head next to my um gauge? Uh, have I got something bad happening with me, or uh, have you got an amulet on? I do. Yeah, that, um, I think that's like a health amulet or something. Ah. Well, we got at least some of our souls back. I think we've been down this way already. It's where you first fell off the roof, I think. You came down this way. Oh, okay. I think you're right. There's the zapper. Um, the question is, now I need to get back up, I'm guessing. Huh. Yeah, just back up that ladder. Yeah, Elden Ring really did add a lot of ch characters with delayed attacks. But I feel like it's, a, it's an easy way again, difficulty, because that way you just can't always time everything perfectly every time. You yeah. actually did need to learn stuff. Is there someone? No, they're downstairs, I'm guessing. No, no, I can look to you. There she Do is. That. Uh oh, I've been spotted. Who are you? This must be your first time in. The petrification disease quarantine zone. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. I won. May I ask you a favor? My family took my baby from me. And sent me here. They 
said it was for my own good, but it was heartless, just the same. A baby must be with its mother. Who ah, it's a good slap dash. Just me dying a few times. Me my baby. Wait, isn't she sick? Why'd she want the baby back? Thank you so much. Wait, did I lie? I can find no, it'll it'll come up with a choice to lie. Again. So wait, are the people here sick as well? I thought it was just the robots that went insane. Please hurry. Now they've got some sort of petrification oh, disease. Spreading across my eyes. Before I lose my sight. Please. Now I don't know how many souls you need to you level up, but it might be worth Hall. going back to the um, Should we check it out? Thing before you continue. I hope everybody's safe. I don't think I've got enough to level oh, up. Oh, no, you can. See how your your um your your numbers are blue. Yeah. When they're blue, it means you can level up. When they're white, it means you don't have enough. Ah, oh, okay. So, do you have that item to teleport back to the hotel? I do. I'd use that. Ah, uh, not here though. I'd get back up the ladder. Uh. <laughs> Uh... It's also worth equipping it to your extra bag. Yeah. Your extra bag works the same way that it does in Elden Ring, where you hold down... I think it's that you hold down X and then it will come up and you just press it on the D-pad. Okay. Kind of like you hold down triangle in Elden Ring. Yeah, I think this game works a bit more like Bloodborne, where you have to teleport back to the, um... Oh, you teleport it, uh, elsewhere. You tele be... Yeah, you teleport to the, um, hotel to level I'm up. Jiminy, the, um, your friendly puppet guide. Very godmother lady. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know. Oh, wait, so I can't do it from here anymore. No, nah, that was just the start Last of the game. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other I thought it was a bit stupid at first, until I remembered that you had to do that in Bloodborne. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. So we're inside the house of Elysian Boulevard. Oh, so when you go here, it'll always tell you if there's someone that wants to speak to you. See how it had an icon at Hotel Crop? Oh, yep. So that means... That's another good thing this game does. So if there's ever any, like, quests or people that you can talk to... Wait, why'd it put oh, no. me here? You want to, so if you use your um, thing, press square. Ah, oh, when you use your item, you, you can teleport straight to the hotel, so press square. Ah, oh, my bad. Oh, you can do it from there as well, but um, yeah. So when you click on a stargazer and go teleport, instead of choosing where you want to go, it says down the bottom, Hotel Crop, press square. Crap. So she is meant to be the godmother then? My power to I think so. I'll use my power. Uh, fuck. So that's Legion. Let's just get capacity up to 10. Let's just get everything up to 10 and then we'll start going from there. The capacity is your weight and you only start doing heavy rolls and stuff when you go above 60%. Ah, cool. The question is where... I think if you talk to her, did you talk to her? Because yeah. when you... Yeah, okay. She said... So that oh, yeah, her on now. Oh, so that wait, is that it there? It says I need to in, in, inside your house. Okay. Cuz I was just looking at there was no icon then. No, there was one before you went to the hotel, but then when you talked to her the icon disappeared. No, you want to go to the house. Yeah. Well, what the fuck? Why is that guy wearing a wolf costume? Friend or fiend? 
So, what, um, what you call it? Grim Tide. How many levels are in that again at the moment? Dark Tide. Yeah. Because Vermintide didn't have many, did it? 30! Shit, that's a lot actually. 30 levels? Holy shit. Uh, no, um, like, um, actual levels. Like maps. Yeah, missions. Yeah, how many different maps are there? Alright, where is this big dude? Ah, oh, fuck, I did it again. Oh my god, it's uh, speed. Oh my god. Don't feel bad, you're gonna die a lot to this guy. Okay. Sometimes I forget to switch, um, press down, so I use the wrong, um, item. Yeah, that happens a lot, especially if you're like, um, you'll go to, like, repair your weapon, and then you'll keep trying to use a health potion, and you'll keep this, like, half repairing your weapon. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. It takes a while to figure that out. And like eventually you just end up charging through and slashing everyone. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. We'll yeah, like, this guy's like a. I know he doesn't help have a health bar, but this is like a problem bar. But once you kill him, you won't come back. Oh my god. God damn it! Is it worth me even parrying this dude? Yeah, definitely. I guess everything's nice. Okay. run past all these guys but it's almost worth killing them so that you can um yeah a little bit of experience yeah ah oh, I can't get over that like I just hit a wall and then my weapon bounces off and then I just take a B in damage meow alright How do I know when he's going to do more than one attack? Oh, what? That went straight through my gu I reckon I parried that last one. Yeah, I reckon the first boss was easier than this guy. This guy's hard. You know, I'm just gonna run past everyone.
That includes that guy. Part of me just wants to see what other items I can just chuck at this guy. Well, you notice when you do a perfect parry, his weapon blows. That means it will break if you keep doing it. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes! Wait, where's my spot? Oh, where was it? Oh, fuck me. Right, you're gonna go to half health. Ooh, his weapon broke. Oh, fuck. Now where where's the spot that I need to get him? Button, yeah, go. See it's flashing. No, go back. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's it. There you got it. You got him. You broke his weapon. Nice. Now it's probably worth just teleporting back to the hotel and leveling up. Because he won't be alive anymore. Oh, that yeah, they could change it a while back. We had um, we had um, a brand called Coon Cheese, and some people took offence to that. So eventually, they went and changed it to fucking Cheer. Worst fucking name they could have possibly picked. Around. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, what were they thinking? Apart, <laughs> apart from another slur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine they changed the cheese? But yeah, I'm pretty sure the cheese was named after the guy invented it, I'm guessing. It was, but it is a derogatory term towards Aboriginals in Australia. Alright. Oh really? That's a double level up. Oh, it's an American slur. Uh, that's not true. I've heard, when I, especially when I was younger, I heard plenty of people call them that. Oh, we still so much. We still so much. I don't even America. know if I've ever heard Americans fucking call people that. They've got their N word. I've only ever heard. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, there you go. Right. Oh, just put me back here. <laughs> so that make, that kind of makes it worse then. <laughs> it's a worldwide slur. Yeah, worldwide, <laughs> worldwide offensive cheese. I'm pretty sure. Remember, there was an Aboriginal footy player, and they used to call him that. And didn't they name a grandstand after him as well? Yeah, they did. It was actually yeah. yeah it was the N word. No, it was coon, wasn't it? No, it was the N word. Internationally offensive. <laughs> Internationally offensive cheese brand. Are you sure it was that they did not name a stadium the N word? They hundred percent. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah. There's a raccoon from. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Oh, is this the stand? Southern Queensland grandstand known for its controversial name will be demolished. That was back in 2007. I remember it was on a current affair. The um, because there was a guy saying he wanted the name changed, and they said, "Well, what about um, the cheese brand?" N, N Brown Stand. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I remember them talking about that. Oh, there you go. This is back on 2008. N Brown Stand gone. Coon Cheese next on hit list. Yeah. The um, because yeah, the the stand wasn't even named after a black guy. It was a white guy they were referring to, which is even weirder. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, yeah, I know. The Cartman superhero. That was the best. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the first thing I think of now when I hear that. 
investigate. Petrification disease quarantine zone, known trespass. Everyone is a patient lunatic. Do not speak to them. I wish we had raccoons in Australia. I don't know, do you really want to have to close your bins at all times? Oh, that's true. Well, we don't have those weird little metal bins where they can take the lid off. Do you reckon they'd be able to get into our big plastic bins? Uh, I reckon they would. I wish Ooh. we had squirrels too, I hate possums. Possums are gross, squirrels are cute. Yeah, I like squirrels. Shit, 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 Oh fuck, they can actually block shit. Actually, can they block this? Oh, we've got foxes in Australia too. You see them roaming like suburban streets sometimes. I see a lot Around of dead ones like, on the highway. Shit, that's a big cat. And you're like, oh, hang on, that's a fox. Yeah. I used to see them in Beaumaris, like going to Jess's house. I'm like, what the fuck's a fox doing here? Oh, it's because they hang around the golf courses. <laughs> oh, they actually jump on you. That's awesome. Oh, oh, what? Now I'm jealous now. Yeah, I know, right? Imagine if a possum jumped on your leg. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. As to the other animal I want is the hedgehog. Uh, for your information. We have echidnas. Yeah, but you can't have those as pets. Wait, can I have an echidna as a pet? Oh, I'm pretty sure you unlocked the police baton too, Mark, when you killed that guy. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, let's use this for a little bit. Ah, oh, the tree to well, okay. You didn't heal. That was good. Ah, uh, I've got three heals, we're good. We've got two heals, we should be good. Um, they like to live dangerously, I see. Yeah. Urgent repair tool? Ah, oh, so instead of sharpening your weapon, That'll, like, it's an item that'll instantly sharpen it. Oh, that's, that sounds much easier. It, it's more to be using, like, boss fights and things. Speaking of. Ooh, what the fuck? Let's go this way first. Which way did I come from? You came from the left, and then you unlocked a shortcut straight ahead. But that shortcut is kind of useless because you've already done that area. Okay, so we came through here. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we've got swans in a lake across the road, or not across the road, around the corner from us. And um, they've been there for years and years, and every now and then you'll see them have babies, and then they'll go away, and then the big ones just live there all the time. And a guy at work was telling me yesterday, a bus fucking ran over one of the adult ones. Come out, Geppetto! And then um, when I drove past there today, I didn't see them there, and I wonder if they've all fucked off. But yeah, same thing, like, they, were, they would often, like, they'll come walking up out of the park, because people always fed them. So, um, they're, like, super friendly. Unless I'm walking my dog, they hate my dog. But didn't they shut down like a lane in the um, highway because you of that? You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? I don't know, they were asking for like CCTV for if anyone had any like um... You and the like camera footage or anything together. because apparently people were Tell saying that the, the bus truth. like What's didn't even try problem? to avoid it, just ran over it. The old man. And Get it's like in an area where they're not like driving fast, people would have to slam on his brakes, he just like slowly ran over it sort of thing. Or more like, I know anyway, that's what this bloke was saying that lives near me from work. You're the devil's puppet. I hope they come back, they're cool, you they're kind of like a staple in our area. Die! Oh fuck, the donkey man. <laughs> no hero references, love it. Curse it, puck! Back again! Ow.
Oh, fuck, he's still going! Ah, uh, does he stop? You can backstab this guy. Okay, let's just... Let's just... Destroy it for sure. Ugh. Yeah, quest denied. He does not stop. Alright. We've got that shortcut down the elevator now. Oh, that's right. Let's kill the donkey man. I don't know how I felt about the bat. Let's stick with this thing for now. We'll use the bat against the shitters. Actually, fuck well, Yeah, you haven't upgraded your bat. You upgraded this once, didn't you? Yeah. Alright. Oh. oh my god, okay. Oh no. Nice. You know what, I'm just gonna block your shit and just regain it. Unless the pushback's too shit. What? You've had COVID five fucking times? Jesus, man. Honestly, I think you've been taking it all for me. I haven't had it once. Paul, you've had it, what, twice? Well, uh, three times now, yeah. Three times. That is insane, man. I've got two filthy little kids and, like, yeah. you know, every, tr every day that I go to work, we, um, hop in, like, a tiny little elevator to get up to site that they cram for guys. So if someone on site gets it, everyone gets it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, five times is a lot. <laughs> well, at least you're not getting long cover. That's a good thing, at least. Person puppet! Oh, I got staggered or something? Oh, you ran out of energy. So if you're blocking when you run out of energy. Ah! Oh, can you and string you up on the bridge. We a little bit. I'm out of it. Ah, oh, fuck! For sure. Oh my god. Please tell me the thing's not all the way over there. 
Oh, you got plenty of time to run up to him. Yeah, the long COVID. Fucking hell. Twice, that sucks. It's funny how, like, COVID saps it out of you. Even when you think you're sort of better, you will, like, go to work for a little bit and be like, holy shit, I'm tired. There's a wrestler that I really liked. He's had long COVID and he has never been the same ever since. I feel bad for the people that, like, lose their sense of taste and smell. That's not permanent, is it? Nah, I don't think so. I'm watching this video of a guy, like, eating all this shit. He takes a bite out of things, like, no, nothing. Takes a bite out of an onion. No, nah, still nothing. Oh, <laughs> He's, like, what? eating all this shit. Can't taste anything. Yeah. Yeah, he got complications from his COVID, yeah. Oh, God, your soul's not really far away. Oh, really? That COVID is there? Fuck. Um... Yep. Yeah, Bray Wyatt died from the heart um, condition from co um, from COVID, and Keith Lee as well. Uh, he's struggling. You can tell he's struggling a bit. Charge no, past him. Oh, it's only 500 souls. Oh, fair enough. How does? How do I know when this guy's going to attack? Are you a dream or a um, I think I beat him once by breaking his weapon by just doing it quite a good. Guard, but you can just dodge past him and backstab him. Yeah, that's much easier. Yeah. <laughs> I want to wait for you to die a few times first. Curse and pop it! Back again! I think I overcome that shit as bad as what you did. Hit the wall. Stop showing so, 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 so. Oh, the boat's in here. Oh. Uh, yeah, but normally I am, I think. And I think I went to one of them, but yeah, there were, I think he does a few other things with his stream, so it was hard to, like, find, um,. Like certain sections of it. I need to work out when their tickets for um, the wrestling are coming over. Actually, yep. What are they coming back to Australia? Yeah, they come. Uh, Illumination Chamber in Perth. Dion rang me to say he was going and uh, if I get tickets oh, really? to meet him over there. WWE. Yeah. Illumination Chamber 2023. Alright. Montreal, that's alright. Oh, come on! February 24. Oh, fuck, that's close. Oh, they haven't started selling the tickets yet, have they? Nah, it's, um, you can okay, register, like, pre-sale opportunity. Got it. Oh, that's right, I can't dodge that. Oh, I let go of it, right as...
Are you trying to tell me he couldn't get into that cart? I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. Man, we're gonna be hearing that a lot when we go back to Elden Ring. Killed your first human. Psst. Defying the laws of puppets. Oh, I've already been lying. Well, it's not as if I'm special on that. Everyone else has defied the laws. Son. Yeah, that's what I found it's interesting about this game. Like, oh, you've got the laws and stuff. Seeing that like this, you can't come into the hotel because you can't lie. But I'm like, well, one of the rules of is not me. killing, and all the puppets been I killing, so why can't they lie? The puppets, after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. So all of their laws failed except the lying one. That, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. Ooh. I want to hear all about your experiences. But now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Croc when you're done. I want to hear use All this right. to catch up. Uh sweet. You got enough souls to level up. Ah, uh, cool. I might get the next save point at least. That's another good thing. I like it how the the text turns blue when you can um, level up. Also, did he give me a new weapon? Uh, he gave you a new outfit. Cannot be changed here. Oh, outfit. Ah, uh, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Gotcha, dude. Actually, that does look pretty legit. You gonna put the headpiece on? I don't know. Yeah, you know, why not? <laughs> I could pretend I'm the um, donkey from Shrek. Ugh, hell creepy version of it. Ogres are like onions. Uh, let us heal. So about that weapon, yeah, heal and go back to the hotel. You were talking about. If you find any more weapons, let's try using them here. What legion arms have we got? Oh, so you can assemble weapons now. He gave you Geppetto just gave you a weapon assembly tool. Ah, uh, Eugene. But oh, the stargaze. Okay, so what does this do? I don't understand how this works. You can swap blades with handles. Ah. Oh. So what's strike chance? Oh yeah, I think you can only put a slashing ha handle with a slashing head, whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, go back to Eugene, see if you can upgrade your weapon anymore, because you picked up a few moonstones. Can I teleport to this? Oh, okay, so that tells me where I am. Yeah, so press square. See down the bottom, it says Hotel Crot. Oh, okay, so it's a bit like, um, an Elden Ring with the, um... Yeah. But yeah, I was saying earlier, I so said this game... So we've got Bloodborne, Bioshock Infinite, Near Automata, is what I'm getting from this game. Let's have a kind of... The enemies are sort of Bioshock Infinite, aren't they? Yeah. Automated puppet things. I'll use my power things. to help you. Like the whole like when they when they did the starting intro, which was amazing by the way, where like they had like this super like amazing city. My oh, I missed that. I was going to the toilet and doing shit with the dog. But yeah, like it's just this really amazing city, and it's like oh, this is like Bioshock Infinite, where they had like an amazing city, and then it all turned to shit. Oh. See, at the moment, mark underweight. It's a slightly heavy. Yeah. 
So that doesn't mean too much, it means you roll a little bit slower and I think your stamina comes back a little bit slower. Uh. But it's not as bad as, um... Not as bad as it is in others. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's only when you, like, if you get more heavy. Actually, one sec. I just went and saw Chipato. Did you say anything? You have no idea. Thanks for keeping uh, it'll tell you at the star. I'm an old friend of the stargazer. Thank you, sir. You have any questions? Tell me more about it. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, actually, there's a bookshelf back there that had a shiny dot on it. I don't know if you've read that yet. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll probably forget you said that. Let's go back. Oh, guess what I bought today? That book reminds me. Have you ever heard the fairy tale about a mischievous wooden puppet? All of Crot knows the story. All because of someone who loved that story more than anyone else. Uh, but this is strange. I, I do not recall... Who exactly was that someone? So yeah, I went to the supermarket. I got a whole bunch of Stranger Things food. Oh, really? Like yeah. what? Uh, I've got the ice cream, the pizza, and the hot wings. Did you get the peeps? What are the peeps? Um, I don't know. It's what Eleven always wants. Actually, where do I go? Wait, would you get hot wings and what else? Um, I don't know my phone's, I have to charge my phone. It was like uh, hot wings, the pepperoni pizza, and the ice cream. What do they have to do with Stranger Things? I guess that's the stores that they have. I've got no idea. Like, it's something... Oh, the, I suppose the, the, the teenage kid worked at the ice cream place. I heard um, Uber Eats was delivering real-life Starfield food um, in Sydney this weekend. Oh, wow. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. Uh, it does more damage than what it does. Whoa, that went straight through him. Yeah, if they're blocking, they still take damage, so if they're about to die from the hit, or you can break their weapon or whatever too. Stop resisting! <laughs> <laughs> What's the Fable Art of um, this weapon? I've never used it. Uh, I'll get it up. I, I think one of them must be a damage boost. Oh shit, that was done to me. Uh oh. I can. Is there something to get, um, an item I can use to get more Fable boost? Yeah, there's, like, Fable charges or something. Well, he's probably gonna attack me as soon as I go into the menu, isn't he? Oh, you blocker. Blocking is cheating. To be fair though, their block and then subsequent attack is like one of the easiest things yeah. to, um, like perfect block. Hmm. Quickest shortcut in history of this one. What the fuck is that? Is that the petrification? Yeah, it's the last of us. Gosh, damn. You're right, wait, I didn't get electrocuted. Yeah, you did it from the right side. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, I didn't grab that item here? Yeah, what was the point of that shortcut? Uh, it just allows you to dodge a few of these bad guys before you get to the first proper boss of the game. Wait, you mean proper? You'll find out. Oh. <laughs> this next boss is the um, one that the demo finished on. So the, the um, gameplay's not stuttery at all, Paul? No, that's really good. Oh, that's good. I hadn't even thought about it. So, um, 
Yeah, like I said, the next boss is... That's the demo. You could play up to the next boss. So I'm like, dude, it's a fucking lengthy demo. But by the time I beat that guy, I'm like, oh, man, I'm in. I can't wait to buy this game. Alright. So what is the time? Sweet. So I might do this. I might kill this boss then and might call the knight then, uh, I reckon. Definitely gonna go go that way first. Go this way? Yeah, kill this guy, get that item. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you tanky. Oh my god! Whoops. A, a lot of the time you can get an extra heavy attack in before you do the stagger move, which is super helpful. Oh my god, I just... I don't know if it's because well, I hit it with a just, charge attack or what caused well, it. that thing, if you um, use your Fable attack or your charge attack when they're just about to be staggered, it automatically procs it. Give her that baby puppet. Oh, do I go back to her and give her the baby puppet? I would. How close was she? Uh, you want to teleport back to the... Uh, not, not the hotel, but inside the building. And then you know how you ran past everyone to get to the police baton guy? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the quickest way to get to him. We'll go give that. Because I was wondering, there was no way we are going to give her a real baby, were we? Oh, that's right, she's just going to be blind, isn't she? Yeah, so this is when you get your first opportunity oh. to tell the truth. Yeah. And it had the baby icon right there. Yeah, so that's another like quality of life thing I like about this game. Yeah. So what are you going to do in your playthrough? Are you going to do a truth playthrough or a lie playthrough? Uh, I'm going to be lying all the way through, I'm guessing. <laughs> Wait, which way? It's this way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I lie all the way through. I'm guessing lie is the real way you meant to play it, at least first up, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, if you want the better ending and... and a weapon. Oh god, my stamina does go slow. I guess I would have to de-equip one of these weapons to... Oh, that's why. Because I'm like, you weren't heavy before and it's not like you've put on any armor yet. You found her, Guide One. I could sense her from miles away. Oh. Yeah, so let's give you back your baby away. and you can both get infected and die. Please let me hold her. I mean, I was laughing, I was editing videos today, Paul. My baby. Where, you know, we were fighting the Forge monster so in um, Baldur's Gate. Yeah. And Brownie's like, oh great, I'll start in the lava. <laughs> he just <Thank> dies instantly. <laughs> Isn't my baby adorable? That's right, kind one. You granted me my only wish. My sweet Elena. It was so funny doing the truth playthrough in this. Now. Like, you're just such a prick to everyone. Thank you. So what is the moral of the story, so that telling the truth is a bad one. thing? Um... Please accept It's all about humanity. Heartfelt gratitude. Record you attain while playing can be played using a gramophone at the hotel. Oh, I've got a music. Yeah, you can listen to music on the records to obtain humanity. What's humanity? Well, like you know how the, the law of puppets, you can't lie? Oh, yep. So like, telling lies and listening to music and stuff gives you humanity. Oh, I've got four health potions now. Oh, I wonder where you got that one from. Yeah. Oh, use your fable art on the next dude. I want to see what it does. Yeah, same. 
Tell the truth hurts. Bitterly, painfully truth the made up lie, honestly. That lady had hours to live. <laughs> I reckon giving her a nice, peaceful couple of hours is better than brutally shutting her down. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because it's funny, then you watch like the dark, um, the dark night rises, and it's the exact opposite message, where it's like, even when you lie to like, all right, all right, here we go. Oh, well, Jesus! I guess it's a big hit. Knocked him on his ass. I reckon if you kill those like next two guys, you probably have enough to level up, yeah. Uh, see, I think we'll run, st we'll go straight for the boss. I reckon. Oh, okay. Are you going to equip your saber? Yeah. The archer class is full of archers. <laughs> oh, wait, he's back alive? I thought... Alright, we're in City Hall. They're gone. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Move attributes. To oh my god, he's gonna give me a Stalus element, isn't he? So, so have you noticed how many of these guys have been killing at dropping those? Ah, oh, that's not. You know that. One sec. Uh, oh, Puppet destroyer's amulet. Nice. That one's really good. The what? He just picked up a puppet destroying amulet. Well, first of all, let me go find. Where was it? Resistance Ampupil? What's that do? Temporarily increases attribute resistance. Oh, I want to get rid of stuff. I don't want resistance. Yeah, that's a bigger one up the top right there. Equip that. To be fair, so the shock one, you've already been. You know those traps that you run over? It yeah. does a little bit of damage, but what it mainly does is it drains your, um, Fable. Ah. So it's, it's really not that big of a deal. It's not like a poison or anything. But yeah, equip the, um, amulet. Yeah, I just did, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, do I summon a spec? Well, I haven't done... Oh. Hmm. Let me think. Let's just do it, because I want to see it. So what does this summon? Uh, it summons it inside the boss arena. Oh, okay. So is it a mimic tier? No. Nah. But it, yeah, I like how they're star fragments, but it's like a wish upon a star. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. The references in this game are pretty cool. I can't wait for you to beat this game and see the end credits scene. <laughs> so good. It's oh. probably a good thing that you're finishing up now, because I reckon this guy took me like a good hour, hour and a half to beat. Do you reckon I won't be able to beat him now? Oh, no way. Oh, it depends if we're, um, how long are you giving yourself. Uh, we've got at least 15 you're not, minutes. You're not going to beat him first go if that's what you're asking. Oh, I'll give a couple of tries. Alright, this reminds me of... Is it the happy place? Yeah, it kind of has that vibe about it. I don't know if that's the name of the game, but another one you're talking about. Oh. Okay, go Alucard. You'll beat it first go, you guys are doing work. Oh, fuck off that hit. Sam D's fucking. Right, okay. It's funny, I didn't realise near, near Automata had that thing as well. Yeah, it was the first thing I noticed. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. 
go wrong. Did I get it? Oh, there it is. Oh, you got it. Oh, you are going to be the first go. Use the frame light. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe we won't use the Spectre. There goes no Spectre run, holy shit. I, will, I wanted to use, to be fair, I thought, you know what, we'll use the Spectre because we're not going to be the first go. And I want to see what it did. Dude, that boss is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> when he does his second phase, you probably didn't even notice it, but when he does a slam attacks on the ground, it leaves a little electrical mark that explodes after a couple of seconds. Oh, uh, he definitely did so. So generally, when you've got your little time to attack, you're using your energy to dodge away from it. Yeah. I did notice that he had some kind of electric attack. Uh, we'll go up and go upstairs and see Geppetto. Oh, uh, up here? Oh, uh, no, no. Um, yeah, you go through here, and I think there's an item on the left and right, and then go back to the hotel. Oh, maybe it's just that. Yeah, that was insane. I can't believe. Yeah, I can't believe how much work that Spectre did. Yeah, I remember a guy, that Andy guy that I follow, was saying um, he used a Spectre for one of the boss fights and just made it trivial. And he's like, "Oh, um, I'm not doing that anymore." Yeah, no, I won't be summoning any more of those. Like, I didn't ex like in like Dark Souls, Elden Ring. They normally, if they take any amount of firepower, they're just going to crumble and die. But um. Well, I used them in my New Game Plus playthrough, and I didn't use them in the main game, and I felt that they all died pretty quickly, and weren't all that helpful. Holy fuck! Did you press square, or did you go to the Yeah, courtyard? square, yeah. I'm guessing they're just there, so like, people that are struggling can just like, get through some of these bosses. It's oh. funny, the two that I actually wanted help with in New Game Plus were no help at all. Oh no. You saved Geppetto. Wonderful. He is on the second right, floor. Talk. I'll be right back. He can hardly wait to see you. I'll use my power to help you. Okay. Oh, what are we leveling up? Let's get to this, because I'm pretty. That way, I can actually get my stamina back. All right, second floor, you say? Hey, is the cat angry at me still? Yeah, still doesn't like me. What is this? Ah, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Venini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please, go save him, and shut down the factory. P-organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need.
remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. Ooh, Pagan. Use Pagan's to slots to activate characters late in abilities. If you equip quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you gain the finished synergy effect. Each time the synergy effects of two groups activated, the next step is unlocked. You can get a great variety of effects as you take your Pagan to higher phases. Alright, so what do we got? Can I start in more areas? No, I can't. So I have to start here. Alright. So, just before you pick anything, did you want me to explain it? Because I found it a little bit confusing. So, my best guess is that I need to choose at least one from f um, each of the phases. But if I select more, then they get stronger? No. So you only unlock it if you do both of the parts in it. Oh, so there's like two parts here, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, it, it, so click on the dodge on the right. Yeah. So I'll just... Yep. So, enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge animation. Okay, so we want that 100%. That gives you a proper dodge. So if you click on that, and then click on one of the empty slots, you, it, this doesn't commit you into it, just letting you know. What so the at the fuck? top there... So at the top there, yeah. you've got four different types. You've got attack, survivability, um, like legion and whatever. So if you press L1 or R1, it'll... Yeah. So you're only allowed for each of the things. Um, so you're picking dodge. It's got two slots. You're only allowed to pick one thing from each type. Oh, okay, so I can only have one survival type and then one attack type. Yeah, so if you dodge. pick one of these, so if you pick one of these attacks, uh, um, then when you that'll take up the slot, and then when you go to pick the next slot, you can't pick it from the attack tree. But okay. attack and survival are definitely the best ones. Yeah. So ability to okay. Well, that's pretty good though. Perfect guard, fable charge, enhance one. And what's this? Right, for now, let's start with enhanced gain. To be fair, like, if you look at the other, like when you get to like tier three and tier four, you need to start picking three and four. See the phase four and phase five. You need to pick three and four things. So you do end up picking a bunch of survive, um, of the other type. All right, so looking at this, but attack and survivability are the main ones that you're going to be using all the yeah. time. So let's just do them for now. Uh, but it took me ages to figure out, I'm like, hang on, how come I can't do another attack? And I'm like, oh, it's big. So now, see that little blue orb? Yep. Travelled halfway up the bar? Yep. So next time you unlock, so if you go to do next, you go do your staggerable window, when you get those two things, that will unlock the next phase. So okay. you don't really want to be putting one thing into a thing, you want to pick one and then fill it out. Okay, so, so yeah, so with pulse charges, they're your health vials. So you won't get another health vial until you do both charges in the health vial thing. Yeah. Okay. So I need two quarts into that to get the health yep. vial. Yeah. And if I get if I get all four of these down here, that'll increase the effect or not really? Uh, every time you unlock a full one. That will just make your little blue orb travel further along your phase bar. So you don't actually. So if you un, I think you need to unlock two full things for, to unlock the next phase. Okay. But in saying that, like once you get to phase three and four, you need to put three things into the ability. But um, it still only travels one phase. But you can. It doesn't matter which ability you unlock. It will always travel up one. So. If there's something that you don't want in phase three or four, or you don't have enough quartz, you can go back and pre-level something else to unlock the next phase. Okay. 
But for now, my dodge is done. I can't do that anymore. No. Nah. Yeah, so you've used both your quartz. You had two quartz and you just used both. Yeah. Why well, if you only put one into it? What would happen? Nothing happens? I think then you, you still get whatever you've... You put in like your enhanced gain recovery or your enhanced attack, but you wouldn't have unlocked the dodge. See, your dodge is all like shiny and unlocked. Oh, okay. So basically, I can literally I could like put one into each one of these things, get none of the bonuses except for like the attack bonus. In yeah, it. exactly. To be fair though, like further down the line, so when you unlock phase two, it'll unlock phase two of. So can you click on that and go to empty slot? This one. No, no, I just on the, say the pulse thing. Can you click on any of these? Empty slot. See how, yeah, you click on empty slot. Oh, that's still, that's still crossed out. Oh, no, see how it's got a tick there? It means yeah. you're done. So now you have to pick from one of the others. But see if you look down, they're all locked. Yeah. So when you unlock phase two, that next set will unlock. Oh, no way, that's pretty cool. Phase three, they'll unlock. And some of those are actually really good. Like one of them might be just a standard unlock a pulse cell or um, increase your fable. So some of them are actually pretty good. So your character See, becomes overpowered as fuck. Oh, yeah, but the game gets really fucking hard, so you need it. Um, so I think under... Oh, shit, why did I not put this one in? Fuck, I should have got that instead. Lower damage received when dodging. Fuck. Yeah, that's what a lot of them are really good. Like I said, you'll come across some that it just gives you an extra pulse cell or um, gives you stuff. And so when you get to New Game Plus, it actually unlocks Phase 6. And then apparently New Game Plus Plus, it unlocks Phase 7 um, because you kind of need the extra bullshit to actually make your character strong enough to play through the game. Alright, I also upgraded my capacity so I'm no longer heavy. I'm like, fuck this shit. Dude, I, I did not like start upgrading capacity for such a long time until you start. If you go to um items, uh, and go to defense parts, you start getting um really good like ones. better, better and better defense parts. But like some of them weigh a fucking ton. Is there a way for me to sell some of these useless ones? Oh, you Ooh. don't really want to. What's this thing? Workshop you. So they're your resistances. Oh fuck, I should've put that on. So that one there, I think, what does it say? Can enhance resistance to electric shock. Ah fuck, why did I, wait, did I get that from the boss or did I just forget to put it on? I don't know. I think you got it just before the boss. Nah, bugger. That was my bad. Uh, I could be wrong. They're all equipped. Oh good! Well... Then in that case, I might go to the toilet, eat some food, and yeah, I might be on Discord a bit later, but yeah, I'll probably stream this oh again God, tomorrow. You put all your points into capacity. Well, that was how much I needed so that I wasn't heavy anymore. So uh, you play, I played, I put everything into Vitality and Technique until I maxed it out, and then I started putting shit Is there any, the like, way to respec, or...? Oh, like way later in the game. Well, I'm you, probably going to stick with this. I just, I just wouldn't put any more into it until you level up your health and your... Yeah, well, that's what I'll be doing, yeah, next. Because I think I want at least, like, 20 health, 20 vigor, and... To be fair, I'm pretty sure every time you upgrade your capacity, it also upgrades your resistances as well. Okay. Also, if I've got, like, something that's, like, C and V of, um, a weapon, does that mean I have to upgrade both, both um... Both of them, or can I just max out one and that'll do the damage? Nah, so eventually, you know how in like Elden Ring you can like respec your weapon? Oh, to yeah. Make it. So you'll get cranks in this game. So if you've got a B weapon, you give it like a motivity crank and it will turn it into an A scaling. Or like I had an A scaling weapon on um, dexterity mm. and I put a dexterity crank on and it turned it into an S scaling weapon. Oh, wow. But you can only do it once. So you kind of want to pick a weapon, so you'll probably change away from the Saber's Blade to something... You just really need to pick a lane and stick to it, you don't want to level them both up at the same time. Yeah, so I don't know, I haven't... Since I'm balanced, what am I, 10 of each? So I don't know what... Is there any weapons uh, where it's like, okay, you need like 10 strength, 10 dexterity to use, or you can use every you, weapon? You can use any weapon you want, oh, that's it's just cool. the, the damage that it does scales off... So, like, your baton, if you go to your baton, I think it scales off strength. Motivity. Yeah, motivity is strength. Okay. 
Well, that's why it says balance because it gives you a bit of both. So I'm guessing it's sort of like a. Yeah, we haven't made a. Yeah, we haven't made a decision yet. Can, type thing. Yeah. Well, we will get there, but yeah, now we'll come back to this tomorrow. What are you up to tonight after dinner? Ah, uh, I'll be back on. Let's say like eight thirty. I'm um, probably not streaming, but um, but yeah, just muck around. Alright, cool. I don't have work tomorrow, so I'll be on. Fuck yeah, I need to go eat some food and go to the toilet. I've lost my bottle. Oh well, you, you've you've done well, Mark. You got to the end of the demo. Well, that's pretty decent. Don't mind if I do. How good is that for a demo, though? That seriously was the demo. Fuck, that is decent. Yeah, you could even, you even got your quartz, got your pedo, and then put some stuff into um your skill tree. Oh wow. Yeah, that that gives you a good um. Well, I think if you get to that point, like I said, I was fucking sucked in. I'm like, man, I'm in. Yeah. Ah, uh, thanks, Prisma. Alright, I'll catch you later, dude. Alright, we'll catch you all later. Bye.